Hey what's up this is Todd Smith and I'm back with another video. In many videos lately I've been using Core Gadget 2 and my iPad to control various hardware synthesizers. Many people have asked me to do a video explaining how I do this in my setup. I've already done one really kind of quick video and I got that out really quickly just to kind of get an answer to people. But that's not my final video. I will be doing a bigger more advanced hands-on video where I show my workflow, controlling multiple synths and everything, but that is coming a little bit later. Today, I kind of wanted to speak about budget options on sending your MIDI to multiple instruments from your iPad or Core Gadget 2. In my other videos, I speak about how you need an audio interface to send MIDI and receive audio to your iPad. But let's say you didn't need audio, you just needed MIDI. You just want to send MIDI from the iPad to various hardware synthesizers that already have its own power source. Is there a budget option where you don't need to buy a full interface to be able to send MIDI to your hardware pieces? Yes, and today we're gonna to speak about that option. Let's jump into it. In this example, I'm gonna use a previous sequence I used in my previous jam. One MIDI track is going to Behringer D. The other MIDI track is going to my blow field, which is off camera to the right. Now, even with this setup, I recommend you get the adapter you currently see hooked up into my iPad like I said in my previous video. This will give you the USB out and the power into the iPad. I feel just having power to the iPad is something that's critical when you're making music because who wants to end a creative session because a battery dies? Almost nobody. So I mean just get that power adapter just so you don't have to worry about your power draining and when you're in your studio, your iPad is always going. And on top of that, it gives a few extra benefits that I will explain in this video. A generic USB hub will actually send MIDI data from an iPad and actually receive MIDI data to the iPad. It acts as a MIDI in and a MIDI out. Apple recommends that you use powered USB interfaces for iPads. Now they recommend that because the iPad only has so much power to give out to external devices. So if you hook up cameras and various things and you want to either charge them or have them receive power from the iPad, you're gonna need that extra power from the powered USB hub. The iPad only, only gives out so much power. Having it connected into a power source actually boost the amount of power this initial iPad gives, which will allow you to connect maybe one or two things to this non-powered hub before you max out the iPad's power. In fact, with a non-powered hub, I can power my Novation Impulse perfectly fine. But in this example, you want to just send MIDI to your USB synths, which means they already have power because what type of synthesizer doesn't have its own power source. So since this USB acts as a MIDI in and a MIDI out, let's now connect it to the USB of the adapter. With the USB connected, I now have a generic MIDI in and MIDI out for my iPad. So now I'll connect my Behringer B MIDI in to my hub. As you can hear, you got the bass from the Behringer B, Behringer D being sent out from the iPad with just a generic USB hub. So if you have a USB based instrument, something that has USB MIDI in, which a lot of instruments do these days, you can hook it directly to your iPad with absolutely no interface, which is a generic cheap USB hub. Then things can get really interesting if you have a MIDI through on that instrument, which the Behringer D has. Since the Behringer D has a MIDI through, in a, which is five pin, and a MIDI in, which is USB, my MIDI is now being transmitted through the Behringer, the 5-pin, 
So if I use a splitter, which in this case, this splitter works with the Behringer D, I can split the signal and send MIDI data to all my MIDI instruments with no interface. You do need an instrument that has MIDI in USB and a MIDI through five pin in the same machine like the Behringer D. But with that combo, you can in, a, in effect have a full MIDI send to all your instruments with no interface if you don't need the audio recorded. So now I hooked up the MIDI splitter to my Waldorf. And when I hit play, See or hear to play my Waldorf. And if I turn my camera, sorry for the bad camera angle, guys. But controlling my wall door. So, this little setup here is pretty powerful. Now you know how to send just MIDI and receive, you can actually receive MIDI with this USB hub into the iPad. Again, I use my Novation Impulse 49 directly into this iPad hub, and my iPad has the power to power the Novation Impulse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay positive, stay creative, support each other.